Well. Manilobe activity is off the meter. We've recorded an instantaneous value of 585,000 rails from the mana discharge. <laughs> Magnificent. Get here. Elise, Giselle, jump! What? But I can't! Don't be afraid. I'll catch you. B but. Your best friend is about to be taken from you again. Is that what you want? Tipo! You have to jump. I know you can do it! <laughs> What nonsense is this? How pathetic. King Noctigal! Noctigal! Did they disrupt the experiment? Yes, your highness. But not before we collected the data. Very good, well done. 
I am going to put an end to your petty ambitions right now! So, is this her? Yes. Uh, so is this girl really supposed to be the Lord of Spirits? Oh, please, don't make me laugh! Are you alright, Mila? With the Lance of Kresnik, know that I will bring Ajul to its knees! That's why you invaded Sherilton? How can you keep committing these atrocities? Silence, boy! These matters are not meant for children such as you! How dare you! You didn't really think you could stop me, did you? Huh. Hmm? Ilbert, is that you? Rowan Ilbert? Wait, what? The Ilbert from the history books? Ilbert the Conductor? What business could one who cast aside both his army and his kingdom have here? Lady Dursel, I'm so pleased to find you safe. I was beside myself with worry. Huh. You have fallen far, Ilbert. But your new role as a servant suits you. Your Highness, this way. You need not trouble yourselves with these criminals any longer. Here. I don't like this. Mana boosting technology like that could pose a real threat in Ajul's hands. What are you so afraid of? We'll just have our military equipped with the same technology. Well, it might not be that easy. I do not care. Bring the data back to Fenmont at once. Do you wish to use it on the Lance of Kresnik subjects? Yes, and without delay. Stop right there! Well, if it isn't the phony Maxwell. Tell me, why do you use Spyrex? Why do you sacrifice your own people to attain power that you don't need? A king is supposed to protect his people. Huh. As if a charlatan like you could comprehend. It is my duty to rule this world. It's my destiny. But to fulfill this duty, to my country, to my people, power is a necessity. I must protect them both. All kings derive power from their people. It's a small sacrifice and a worthy sacrifice. Good speech, but it has one flaw. Really? Then do tell. If you must rely on trickery such as this, and if you truly need something like Spyrex to fulfill this precious duty of yours, then in the end you will achieve nothing! Not this false twisted mission, and not your imagined destiny, nothing at all! <laughs> you can lecture all you want, it changes nothing! You haven't even scratched me yet! It looks like... There were more flaws than I thought. What? That's impossible! So 
this is the power of will over destiny? I still don't have a scratch on me now, do I? Your Highness! You have no right to even talk about duty! She never once hesitated. Leela! Your Highness, this way! <laughs> No way! You can't be! Mila! You two all right? What's wrong? She's... Elise! You have to heal her! Quickly! <sighs> she doesn't look so good! She's all busted up! Come on, Mila! Open your eyes! Why? Why did this have to happen? I wish I could say. There they are! The escapees! Get them! Time to go. Nothing else we can do here. Let's get her back to Sherrilton. Stop them! Activate the doorways! Quickly! Ja, yeah, speichern. Oh Mann ey, das geht ja schon richtig ab hier. So, jetzt flüchten wir aus dem Gefängnis. Englisch kommen wir hier mal raus. Aber das war ja schon riskant, was Mila da abgezogen hat. Aber sie hat es dennoch nur überlebt. Was die Sterblichen nicht so wirklich überlebt hätten. You're in my manor. Do you remember what happened? Yes. I attacked Noctigal. And then... Thank goodness. Stay in bed. I'm gonna call the doctor. Doctor? What doctor? That's enough tests for today, young lady. She's stable and alert. I think she'll be fine for now. What happened to Jude and the others? Are they okay? Miss Elise is downstairs. Jude went into the city to look for Alvin. You must be famished, Mila. Yes, you should eat what you can. You need to regain your strength. I'll order something hearty. Let's head downstairs. Oh, what's wrong? I can't move my legs. How much time has passed since I let him get away? I can't stay here any longer. Mila! Your legs! Yes. No tingling, no pain, no anything. <sighs> Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I have rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? That's all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. 
Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. <sighs> Oh, good morning. Is something on your mind? It's just that a long time ago, my father healed a patient who had lost the use of his legs. Really? Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown, La Ronde. What changed? You were so determined to hold me back yesterday. I was... I don't know why. I'm not sure what changed. Huh. If you say so. I just know there's nothing I can do to stop you. Even if you can't walk, you'll just crawl away and get into Crazy. trouble. <laughs> you really are. A do-gooder? Yeah, yeah. I'm in your hands. Right. We can reach Laurent by boat. So let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven. Drissel, you have my gratitude. And you have my hopes for a full recovery. Please take the utmost caution on your journey. I'm truly sorry we cannot accompany you. No need to apologize. You have much to keep you occupied here. Drissel's life is about to get very busy. She'll need your guidance. Yes. You're really leaving? Yeah. Take care, okay? You don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. I know, but still... <sighs> We should get moving. Everyone, you've been a great help. I'm in your debt. Time to hit the road. Thanks, all of you. Super pals, don't split up. We stay together forever. I hope we get to see them soon. So, they're really continuing on. So be it.